So here we are at the Ha Ha Comedy Club in North Hollywood, California. This is the place to be. I will tell all the people that I'm running for President of the United States, Marino, 2016. Tonight's the night. Nice to see you, man. You look nice. Mike, I'm just going to run across the street, get a shot of courage, and I'll be back. I gotta hurry up and do this. <laughs> all right, where are you going? So, wait, wait. You're like, who's running for president? What might be happening? Wars that might be going on in different parts of the country? Nice Italian president from the East Coast. Come on. How much fun. And that's why I decided I would run for president of the United States. Not that many people know, but so far I'm doing pretty good in the polls. Now listen to me. I'm going to make a great president. Once I'm in the White House, don't worry about nothing. Now, I'm not going to do four years. I ain't got that kind of time. And I'm always going to have an answer. It's not going to be the answer you're looking for. But it'll be the answer that satisfies your thoughts. Like we're having problems with ISIS, right? They're going to say, Mr. President, what happened with the ISIS people? And I'll go, oh, uh. Well, here's what happened. I called them up. I said, hey, ICE, we got to talk. So I took them to Vegas for the weekend. And then I don't know. But they're gone now, and there's nothing you can do about it. I mean, look at this guy in North Korea. Him and his weapons of mass destruction. It scares you, right? Let him talk to me on the phone. I'll call him from the parking lot on a payphone so he don't know where I am. Can't call me back. Old school, 1983. I'll call him up. I'll be like this. Hey, hey, North Korean guy. Or like, you know his name. I'm like, North. This is the new president of the United States. You think you got weapons of mass destruction? We got ten times more than you. In fact, we got so many, we had to give them away to a place called South Korea. He's absolutely amazing, fantastic. I've watched him from uh, evolving from being a total asshole into a great comedian. I love him. I truly do. He's awesome. And he has my vote for president. And I ain't even a comedian, this is a community service. I stood in front of a wall like this before. Relax. I'm not from Jersey, but I lived in Jersey for a while. Mike Barino's the real deal. I'll vote for him in a minute. See, a lot of people don't believe I'm Italian because typically I don't look and I'm actually light-skinned and I have blue eyes. I can tell you people in this room right now, I'm a full blooded Italian, but my parents were born in Italy. And I can prove it. <laughs> 51 years old, and I still live at home with my mom. <laughs> Moved out to Hollywood from New Jersey, hoping I'd hit the big time. <laughs> My mother's so Italian, she never worked a job and she never drove a car because her whole life was dedicated to making food for the family. That's what my mother did. My mother... My mother made food for 50 people every single day. They weren't there, but just in case they came... There was food waiting for everybody. And as soon as they were done eating that food, my mother always said the same thing under her breath. They all better get a good look at this food that your mother just made, because this is the last time I'm cooking. <laughs> my mom has been saying this for so long and so often that I strongly believe it was my mother's greatest ancestor that was responsible for the Last Supper. <laughs> And I can picture my mother back in biblical times because my mother would have yelled at everybody. My mother had been walking around going, Jesus, Jesus Christ, could you come here for a minute, please? Come on over here. No, 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 you are not the leader. I'm the leader. You understand me? Now you put your hair in a ponytail and put your slippers on. You know I don't like when you dress like this. Now you let me tell you something about your friends, JC. These 
these boys, you keep calling the apostles. They don't appreciate when I cook. You think they'd offer me bread and wine? I'd come over to the house for bread and wine. You understand what your mother's trying to tell you? And I'm getting too old now. I can't be doing this no more. Somebody else in our family should take a turn and cook. I'll tell you what you do. Call your friend Leonardo da Vinci, okay? Tell him I said paint a big picture of all your friends eating. Because this is it. This is the last supper. You have to come see your show. He's amazing, really funny. California needs more of Mike Marino. Now, if you remember correctly, the G.I. Joe doll was supposed to be a soldier in the army, right? Right. right. We didn't play him that way. <laughs> I came from an Italian family in a tough neighborhood. We made him a mob boss. <laughs> and we didn't even call him G.I. Joe, we called him G.I. Giovanni. <laughs> He had an extramarital affair. Maybe you guys remember the girl he was fooling around with. What was her name? Barbie. Barbie, that's right. The Irish girl from Malibu, California, with the blonde hair and the blue eyes. G.I. Giovanni hit that. I don't know how he hit it, because he didn't have no beepy. She was trouble, Barbie dog. She told everybody she was a model from Malibu, California, and she was. She was a stripper from Seaside, New Jersey. She was the original Snoop in 1962. This is the legend himself. This is Jack. Jack owns the Ha Ha. Used to be down there, now it's over here. It's fantastic. I haven't been here in probably 10 years. As usual, he killed. Audience love him. He's very charismatic, funny, and uh, if you haven't seen him, just catch him here at the Ha Ha Comedy Club. Barbie Doll was married. <clears throat> she kept it a secret. She married some dude, but not for love, for legal papers to keep him in the country. His name was Ken. He was an illegal alien. <laughs> I'm making this up as I go along, and I don't know how to end this shit. <laughs> Oh, wait, I'll think myself out of this year. Yeah, his name was Ken. He was a club owner. <laughs> he owned a strip club called the Dream House. G.I. <laughs> Giovanni and Ken didn't like each other. Every once in a while, G.I. Giovanni had to straighten Ken out. <laughs> but if you remember correctly, you really can't straighten out, Ken. <laughs> I'll never forget one night when, when G.I. Giovanni and Barbie Doll got together for dinner. <laughs> they went to a very romantic restaurant back in the day called the Easy Bake Oven. <laughs> it was a popular food chain, but they went out of business because the light would go out and your food would get cold. <laughs> so they're at the oven, right? And all of a sudden, Barbie Doll started crying. And she looked at G.I. Giovanni and said, G.I. Giovanni? <laughs> I can't find Ken anywhere. And G.I. Giovanni looked at Barbie Doll and said, Oh yeah, Ken. No, nah, you ain't gonna find him no more. She said, where do you think he is? She said, he's gone now. And there's nothing you can do about it. I'm Mike Marino, but not anybody. I'm Mike Marino, log on, I'm running for president. Good night. Mike Marino, the Italian president. I mean, does it get much better than that? Make a decision, make the vote, because when you vote for Mike Marino, game over. This country's fixed. Everybody's happy.